Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Collagen healing, is it working for or against your running injury? Now look, I know I talk about this a lot, but collagen is one of the most critical things when you're healing any running injury. You know, if you have a tendon, ligament, fascia, whatever it is that's injured, all that stuff's made of collagen. Like your plantar fascia is just a huge sheet of collagen on the bottom of your foot. The Achilles tendon is the largest structure in your body that's a tendon made up almost entirely of collagen. And all the ligaments are just little straps of tissue that bind the bones together, which of course are made primarily of collagen. So if you get an ankle sprain, you get an Achilles tendon issue, you get a perineal tendon issue, you get plantar fasciitis, any of those things, it's all an issue with collagen and all of those structures have to heal. So the thing is like you think all you need to do is form collagen, but that's not really the whole story. Now the fact is, is that when you get one of these injuries, the collagen and the formation of collagen in your body to try to heal that tissue can actually be working for or against you when you're a runner. What I mean by that is that if you look at the structure of the collagen in these things we're talking about, tendons and ligaments, you know, the, the collagen, it all goes in a specific direction, much like the Golden Gate Bridge cables that hold up the bridge. You know, if you look at it, it's a huge round cable, but that huge round cable is made up of a bunch of little bitty strands of wire that all run in exactly the same direction, all parallel. The reason for that, of course, is that they have to go in a specific direction to hold up the bridge. If they run in any direction at all, they're not as strong because they're not resisting the force. Now, the tendons and ligaments are the same in your body. So why is that important? Well, the deal is, is that when you get an injury and you have like, let's say you have a partial tear in your Achilles tendon or you tear one of the ligaments in your ankle um, and you're starting to heal it. Well, healing is a good thing, but healing it basically means that you're gonna have collagen forming to bridge that little gap where the injury has happened. Now, if you just sit still, what happens is you get collagen forming in all kinds of directions. It's very haphazard though. It's sort of like uh, wrapping a bunch of strands of wire and duct tape around a, a broken stick. You know, if you do that, it'll actually reinforce it in some way that can actually make it a little bit more stable. You know, there's like a Boy Scout trick of if you have somebody with a broken leg, you can wrap a whole bunch of strands of cloth around the leg and it'll actually stabilize it enough that you can transport the patient to actually get real medical care but that's not really structurally sound. It's not even going in the right direction, but it does help. So when you get all of this haphazard scar tissue formation, it's kind of working against you. It's not really um, strengthening you in the way that's the best and most efficient. And in the end, it can actually complicate things because indiscriminate collagen formation is really what we refer to as scar tissue. And when you get scar tissue forming after surgery or after an injury, after a sprain, after a tendon tear, any of that, well, that actually restricts motion because it keeps that one structure from moving freely. One of the biggest problems with the Achilles tendon, for example, is when you get little strands of collagen forming between the long collagen bundles and the fibers that have to move past each other when your Achilles tendon is moving. And that's what we refer to as cross-linking. And part of the, the Achilles stretches that we give to people that are called eccentric stretches are designed to actually break up cross-linking. But when you're sitting still, you're gonna get more and more cross-linking. So, you know, doctors often tell patients that they have to sit still so that they can actually form these little strands of collagen without ripping them apart. That makes sense, except you have to remember that if you get collagen that forms in the wrong direction, well, then it's working against you. It makes you stiffer and it actually binds those things that need to move freely. And that can actually increase your risk of another overtraining injury later. So the reason I bring all this up is that you know, many times doctors will tell you, all you have to do is sit still and recover. And they'll, and they'll tell us runners, you know, that we need to calm down, we need to relax, we need to chill out, whatever. And there is some truth to that, but you know, you don't have to necessarily stop all activity. You need to find that fine line of immobilization or inactivity that actually will allow things to heal, but enough motion that you can actually stimulate the cells that form collagen to form that collagen strand in the right direction and resist that applied force so that that structure is actually going to be as strong as possible when you do get back to running. So you have to be thoughtful about it and don't just accept that if you just sit still and don't do anything, wear a cast, wear a boot, whatever, for a long period of time, that's all you have to do to get these things to heal because that's not the whole story. And if that's not the whole story, you have to remember there's something else you can ask your doctor. So when you talk to your doctor and they tell you that you just need strict immobilization or you need to really just take it easy and not do any exercise at all, 
you need to prod them and you need to ask them specifically, well, what is it that I can do? What can I do right now that's actually gonna help me heal? What is it that I can do right now that's not really gonna put this injury at risk, that's gonna make this injury worse, but what can I do right now that will not only allow these structures to heal properly, but prevent that indiscriminate collagen formation that refers to as, you know, that we refer to as scar tissue and make sure that that doesn't form and restrict my motion in a way that's gonna make it more difficult for me to run without more re-injuries later. That's the big key here. So make sure that you get the clear answers from your doctor whenever you have a running injury and you're trying to figure out how to get some structure made of collagen to heal as quickly as possible so you can keep running. Doc on the Run, we help injured runners run.